There were no queues at some telecommunication network service centers where blocked subscribers were expected to get their SIMs reactivated. It was surprising to see no queues, especially taking into consideration the sheer number of SIMs blocked, close to 9 million. Threat to deactivate some services of unregistered SIMs in the past saw subscribers rush to these service centers to get SIMs registered. About 8.9 million mobile subscribers are expected to be blocked from all mobile services from today after the deadline of the SIM card re-registration exercise expired yesterday. We are here at the Vodafone Center at Circle to speak to some of the subscribers and customers to know whether they are here to start the registration for the first time or are here to continue with the biometric data capturing. Some have been blocked already. Some cannot make phone calls. Others cannot access data services. Some subscribers reacted to the same blockage and the likely impact. This exercise that our leaders are subjecting us into is very dehumanizing. It's very degrading because I've got a job to do. Look at all these number of people. They left their jobs. They came to line up here. We've mentioned a number of times. Give us time and space. We are humans, for God's sake. Give us time and space so that in our own time, we can get this thing registered and nobody will even complain. But every time you put a deadline and then you have to force it out of our livelihoods. They don't, nobody goes back to sleep. That is a fabrication. That's a figment of someone's imagination. My data connection has been blocked. Yeah, I can make a call. Yes, and I can receive a call. Come all the way from Pig Farm, Ebony. No, I'm coming to register for the biometric. I registered already, but I didn't capture the biometric. My problem is that they have to inform the public that we have to do the second biometric this thing, but none of us doesn't know anything. Unless my friend told, who told me yesterday before I, I know everything. The blocked SIMs form part of the nearly 43 million SIM subscriber base. According to the National Communications Authority, NCA, over 23 million subscribers have so far gone through the two stages of the SIM registration exercise. Director of Corporate Affairs at the NCA, Nana Defie Badu, told TV3 that not all the 8.9 million SIM cards that have not been registered will be deactivated. She said subscribers who do not have the Ghana card or have genuine challenges with their card should contact the NCA to have their SIM cards exempted from the ongoing deactivation exercise. Meanwhile, the telecommunications chamber says the impact of the blockage would be felt by both government and the telecommunication companies. Christian Yale for TV3 News, Accra.